Welcome to the history of the Johnson brothers, creators of the friendly village dinnerware that was meticulously crafted in England. After purchasing the defunct Charles Street Works factory at a bankruptcy sale in 1882, the Johnson Brothers Company was formed by brothers Alfred and Frederick Johnson. Their story actually began earlier as they were grandsons to the famous Meekin lineage and shared a heritage in the production of fine dinnerware. The purchase of the factory marked the brothers' first entrepreneurial venture. The brothers worked on building a solid reputation for their white ware which they called, White Granite. Many early pieces were marked as, semi-porcelain, a durable earthenware that had the look of fine china but was tough and chip-resistant like ironstone. By 1888 a third brother, Henry, joined the firm and they began production of transfer ware, which the company would become famous for. The Industrial Revolution, combined with the demand for pottery not long after the Civil War, created an opportunity for Johnson Brothers to open up two new factories in Hanley, close to the original factory. Around 1896, the fourth of the Johnson Brothers, Robert, joined the company and relocated to the United States to further establish a presence in the emerging tableware market. Americans happily filled their cupboards with Johnson Brothers tableware because not only were the patterns attractive, but the product itself was both durable and very affordable. By 1898, the brothers had a total of five working factories, all producing tableware. In the early part of the 20th century, the brothers' sons joined the company in an effort to raise sales across Europe. The company's growth continued but became somewhat stagnate during the First World War due to increased taxes on the workforce, troubles with shipping and difficulty finding raw materials. During the 1920s, after the war had ended, a new colored clay was introduced. It came in gray, rose, green and gold and was named, Dawn. The Johnson brothers resumed their pre-war production rate. By the end of the decade, several of the Johnson's grandsons had also joined the firm and their tableware was exported throughout the British Empire. The 1930s came and saw the original Charles Street factory closed as new modern technology was implemented. Firing was executed by the use of electricity in new electric tunnel kilns, rather than coal which had been used in the bottle oven kilns. This led to better quality products, lower prices and better working conditions by far. When the Second World War came, production nearly came to a complete halt. Fortunately, sporadic shipments to the United States helped keep the company afloat. The damage caused by war along with a need for increased productivity and facilities required an enormous overhaul of equipment and facilities. Plants in England, Australia and Canada were purchased for the purpose of decorating, glazing and firing of pieces. Johnson Brothers gained royal warrants from Queen Elizabeth II and the Queen Mother. During the 1950s, award-winning designs such as Old Britain Castles and Historic America became popular and still are today. That led to the company being presented the Queen's Award to Industry, not once but twice for their contributions to the British economy. But despite the award, the 1960s brought a change in popular tastes and rising competition. Production costs were spiraling and this led to Johnson Brothers further curtailing their expansion. In 1968, in an effort to remain competitive, the Johnson Brothers joined the Wedgwood Group. Over the following years, some popular patterns were produced including the 1981 introduction of the extremely popular, Eternal Bow. Unfortunately, none were enough to prevent the Hanley Pottery from eventually closing and being demolished in 1995. At the same time, Johnson Brothers reviewed the traditional lines and decided to reduce the number of patterns they produced. In 2000, the tableware division was moved temporarily to the J&G Meekin Eagle Pottery Works. In 2003, Johnson Brothers products ceased to be manufactured in Britain and the process was transferred to China, sadly bringing the end to an era. The Eagle Pottery Works were demolished in 2005. If you wish to purchase the dinnerware shown in this video, visit www.spectralight.com forward slash village. Do you own any Johnson Brothers dinnerware? Which patterns do you own? Please let us know with a comment below. Also, please like this video if you learned something new or enjoy Johnson Brothers dinnerware.
Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Please enjoy the music and remaining photographs during the final minute of this video. Thanks for watching.